Hi everyone, so um, today's the day we're having a look at the mini machine I bought. As regular viewers will know, the uh, original plan was to buy an Emco uh, FB2, but um, due to the availability of them in the UK and um, my inability to um, get to uh, Europe where they seem to be med more readily available, I plumped for a Dor Westbury uh, a Mark II. Now, um, <coughs> I just, uh, it's not set up, so uh, please don't expect to see any machining. Um, it's just a walk through what I purchased. Um, so, um, uh, this was owned by a gentleman in um, the southwest of uh, England, and um, he sadly died, and this was being sold off as part of his estate. And it has a lot of the original documentation. Um, he was, from what I understand, the only owner. Um, and when he bought it in, um, let's have a look, see if we can get the, the date, uh, 18th of May, 1990, um, he paid the princely sum of £851 for it. So it's quite a lot of money, I would have thought, in um, 1990. It's quite a lot of money now, to be honest. Um, so it's got the um, the long, as we can see, the what we've got is the long column, uh, the uh, large table, pulley guide, switch, um, and, and a motor, appropriate motor. Um, <coughs> for those of you who don't really know much about Dual Westbury Miller machines, um, I will suggest you go and have a look at um, Aid Swash's. Um, video he's done a brilliant video that talks all about the door westbury and the history um, i'll put a link in the description below um, these are all the plans that came with the original um, machine um, uh, plans one of uh, four and i've got all all four here so that's quite not sure what as it's already built, it's not a lot of use to me. But, well, actually I say that, but I think if there are any problems or any modifications, it does give you the um, a bit of a, an insight into how it works. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so quite really pleased with these, and these are sort of nice, interesting things. Um, I'm sort of sorely tempted to uh, put them in frames and put them in the clean room, you know. But anyway, slightly off track. So at the moment it's still disassembled. Uh, it hasn't got the uh, the the bed on it. Um, but and the reason for making this video now is uh, for again regular viewers know I'm moving workshop and it's becoming increasingly difficult to hide the thing because it is it is a reasonable size. Um, so let's uh, let's have a run through a few of the few of the bits of what I got with with the uh, the minimum machine. So this is the uh, the long table, and it I tell you what, it's it's a fair old weight to it. Um, so as you can see, the T slots are a, a different way they normally are on the, on the door west routes. Um, everything seems to be there and working well. Um, this is a. A vice I bought for it. It's not. It didn't come with it, but um, I managed to get that at a reasonable price. It came with a little nippy vice, which I've um, been dismantling and cleaning up because it was a bit um, a bit tired. So I'm just trying to um, going to get that fixed up. Now, um, some of you, this is a million miles away from a an Emco uh, FP2. So some of you may be wondering why why I've gone down this route, and um, the the real reason was compatibility of um, of parts. Because if an FP two comes up, I may well just buy that and 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 sell the uh, the door Westbury. Um, but it, I was keen to just have something that I could use. Um, so one of the things if. If you've watched uh, my video on the uh, the collets on the um, Myford, um, and uh, 
I will try and put a link up. I've never done it before, but I'll put a link up above at the, you know, now. And um, so you can go and watch that if you want. But one of the things was these, um, these collets, these Morse Taper 2 ones fit directly into the, uh, the spindle and you've got the nut that holds it and the tools. And I've got not a giant selection of collets because you can't actually buy them now, but you can't, well, you can't buy them now, sorry. Um, but and I've got all these various sleeves that you can put in to sort of um, make them a slightly different size. So I've got a, a reasonable amount of um, work holding ability. Um, and this is the uh, dividing um, attachment for the for the Myford. Um, and this works exactly the same. The collets fit in there. It's still got the same thread for the, the nut to go on. So on this I've created the compatibility with my work holding and, and the Myford, which is uh, what I wanted, I was keen to do. But what we've also got here on the, um, the door Westbury, see if I can get down here a bit, is we've got the same Morse Taper 2 collets fit in and, um, and the nut screws on. So everything that I've purchased so far for the um, the Myford also fits uh, on the door Westbury. So it's what I didn't want to do is as we well, I'm finding at the moment, and I think um, most people who go down this road understand that um, tooling, you know, buying a machine is one thing, buying the tooling is another, and it, it's quite an expense. So that was my logic with that, to try and minimise the amount of additional tooling. So this being a Mark II, let's see if we can see, it has, um, it's a bit more powerful than the Mark I and, and larger, and does, um, goes up to a maximum speed of 1880 revs. Um, it's, um, as we saw on the, on the original bill of sale, um, it's got the long, the long um, spindle, no, not a spindle, I don't know what you call it, column, that's it, sorry. Um, so this, let me try and get down here, let me show you. So where, where the door Westbury is fitted onto a bench, this actually disappears down through the bench um, if you want to lower, lower your, the milling head. And it, it doesn't, won't do it now because it's on the floor. But effectively, you just turn this, you've got um, positions to put a Tommy bar in. Obviously, you would turn it the other way. No, you turn it this way to drop it, and, that, and the weight of it would just disappear into the bench. And this would obviously still be rubbing on the casting. Um, so it gives you, so you've obviously got vertical travel. Um, by, we've got the ability by turning these to get um, uh, to be able to cut angles so that's quite good um, you've got the normal let me sorry um, so the spindle can you see that yeah spindles coming down just by turning these handles and then you can engage this fine adjustment one trying to do it with one hand never helps and then no it's not engaged but you effectively engage those splines and then you can turn that to do your fine fine adjustment um pretty simple approach with the the belts so they you you adjust them and there's a tensioner there if i pull it off you can see the so you've got an eccentric uh, cam there which pushes to, to add a, apply a bit of extra tension. So that's it. Um, let me, I'll just bring you back. Can I get a tape measure and just measure a few bits so you can see? Might be long. Okay, so we're back. Um, let's have a measure off of the bed. So the bed's 20 inches. And um, six wide. 
I'm sure you metric people can convert that. Um, well, the column travel, I think, is looks like it's around about just under. Well, I suppose some of it's down in the column at the moment. I don't know. I have to have a look at that. Look that up. But it's a reasonable amount of travel, and then you've obviously got um, the movement here to go back and forth, so that will allow um, the positioning to, so you can go out further if you've got a wider job. Um, so yeah, that's to be honest, that's about it. So the job, one of the things that I need to do is to make a, a bench for it. Um, I don't. I'm not um, wonderfully technical, but what I want to try and do is create a bench that is, um, or a table for it to sit on. That is no bigger than, I would like its footprint to be as small as possible, but obviously still giving me the rigidity I need. Um, one of the, um, so I need to consider with this, this as far forward as I can, so then it doesn't start, I don't want it to be unduly tipping that way or as far back as it can with the other way. Um, and likewise, because, well, I don't, arguably you can turn this and have, have the head here, but you're, you're highly unlikely to do that. So I'm probably going to get carried away there. But um, yeah, so it's really around, it's obviously going to be as big as the, f the foot, but it's how far I go forward and how far... I'll go back. I mean, it may just be uh, push that as far back as I can because it's going to be dead space under behind here anyway. So maybe I'll have answered by talking about this answer my question already. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's uh, before I um, get into rambling. Um, obviously, most, with it being a Morse taper, um, we've got a little Morse taper. Um, Chuck, um, Jacob's Chuck, I've got some bigger ones which I've got with the Myford, so that allows me to again share tools which is um, pretty important to me at this at this time because um, any, anything I buy I really don't want to be buying individual things. Um, uh, I've had the motor running, I've done, done a very minimal bit uh, part, sort of cleaning on it. I have had the electric motor running. Um, I've controlled myself. I just wanted to check everything through uh, around, around the head to make sure before I connected the belt and drove it. Um, but the motor runs fine. It, it's um, I left it running for quite a while um, and it seems all good. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, my dual West Remark 2. So, um, not super... Well, I think it is, I think for what I'm going to do, and I was never very good at uh, milling, to be honest, so I think it will be um, good enough for me. One of the one of the big things is it's, um, they're called a light lightweight mill, so there's, you know, there's no expectation of being able to um, mill, you know, if you've got lots, lots of meat to cut off, you're going to be doing it um, with lots of little cuts. But again, you know, time is not my enemy. I, I don't have anything else to do. So it's not um, other than watch other YouTubers, obviously. But um, no, time time is not my biggest um, problem. Um, so I think this will be, in the worst case, a good a good machine for me to um, uh, to learn how to mill again. Yeah. So anyway. That's a door West Remark too. Um, as I, um, I'm sure I'll make a playlist because I do like playlists and any modifications um, or anything that we do, or, or I do on it, I will make sure. Um, I'll take you along. I have seen some photographs of fabulous work where they've removed effect or they've replaced this with a, a, a set of gears and, and effectively put a power feed in and it's um I'd, uh the way you know and they've they've made the parts rather than 
um, by stepper motors and, and that sort of stuff to to do it. They, they've actually so so what it effectively it does, it it just looks like the carriage carries on um, and it's quite clever because they've put a a perspex um, cover on so you can actually see the uh, uh, all the gearing working. So that that was um yeah uh, I don't know maybe a bit a bit beyond me at the moment but. Um, yeah, it, it's a good step. So I'm very pleased with that. On the dividing head, in my wonderful MyFood playlist, I will do something with that, um, make a, a video on that. I've got a, um, this allows, this goes on to the um, uh, cross, uh, yeah, cross, cross, no, compound slide, and um, allows you to fit that on there. But you, I've also got a, an additional one of these, slightly off Dual Westbury, I know, which I'm hoping to be able to fit something here, which will allow me to connect through to the spindle and then allow, rather allow me to do the indexing of the uh, the chuck should, um, um, you know, lots of guys do it a different way, but I thought that was the way I'd quite like to do it. And again, using equipment I've always already got rather than buying e even more that that's that's one of my goals in the uh, the Nacholas workshop to have as <laughs> as little amount of stuff as possible um, but actually still be effective okay well that's um that's the uh, the door Westbury mark two I think I've said that a few times so we might as well finish on the um the instruction book and um yeah yeah I'll, I'll see you again so um as always stay uh, happy strong and healthy cheerio